What's up guys, it's your boy Sly Jordy and welcome back to FIFA 23 career mode. Here we are, episode 2 and we are going into our final match um, in the European International Cup. Now, uh, if memory serves me correctly, I'm pretty sure like you win the trophy at the end of the group stage sort of thing. I don't know, it's really, it's kind of weird, but we're about to face Real Valladolid. Um... And I think we've pretty much already got this in the bag, to be fair. They've only got three points. They're last in the group. And, um, yeah, we've pretty much won all our matches up to this point. So, um, we're going to make just a few changes. I think we're going to keep Jose Sar in goal. Uh, but we're going to replace Diego Costa with Cristiano Ronaldo. We're going to give Cristiano Ronaldo his debut uh, and I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do here. I'm actually going to take Traore off and I'm going to put Guedes on and then switch. Oh, okay. Well, we'll play Guedes on the right anyway. If, if he cries about it, who cares? Um, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll play Hugo Bueno as well. And let's, let's put Huang on the bench. That's what we're going to do. Um, in real life, recently, we've just drawn 2-2 Liverpool. And Guedes and Huang scored. Two people I didn't expect. Huang I definitely expected a little bit because he had a really good World Cup. But Guedes, like, has he even scored for us before the Liverpool game? Like, <laughs> I, like I've got a horrible memory if he has. But I'm really not used to hearing about Guedes scoring for us. But he did. He scored for us. Uh, we drew 2-2 with Liverpool. So I'm guessing we'll have a replay very soon but yes our season will be getting underway very very soon in the premier league but first we got real valladolid in cristiano ronaldo's debut it's going to be a big one and here he is the man himself cristiano ronaldo his first impressions in a wolf shirt it's going to be a crazy match and Cristiano Ronaldo is going to start the kickoff. Here we go. And yeah, we're quickly getting into a game this time. Of course, this is not going to be nearly as long as an episode as episode one was. But I want to thank everybody so much for the support that we got on that episode. 50 views. I think it's at like 52 views, which is really good for a first episode. And we're going to have a shot straight away with Ronaldo. Not even testing the keeper. But here he is, man. A dream signing. Instead of going to a Saudi club for a lot of money, he's gone to Wolves for a lot of money. We're paying him 200000 a week. And now Nunes on the ball. And he's going to play it over the top. Can he get it to Pedence? He does. And Pedence is going to put it in the box. Jamutinho wins the header. Tried to get it to Ronaldo. Jamutinho plays it through. To Pedenz and Ronaldo! Cristiano Ronaldo scores a debut goal soon. Brilliant link up play between uh, Moutinho, Pedenz, and Cristiano Ronaldo there. And there he is. His first goal in a wolf shirt. I mean, this is just great play. Beautiful cross, and Ronaldo is just left all alone with an easy finish that he'll gobble up any day. And it's 1-0 to Wolves, who have looked really good in this preseason. And they look even better with Cristiano Ronaldo up front. Nunes. Ronaldo. Oh, he's completely turned him. And it's Ronaldo! There it is! And Cristiano Ronaldo... Nice. They added a new Sue, <laughs> Sue celebration. I've not seen that one before. And uh, Bubakar Traore looking to come on for Wolves. But easy finish from Cristiano Ronaldo. Completely punishing Valladolid here. And what a great signing he's turned out to be. And they got him on a free. All they had to do was pay his wage demands. All right. And Jamutinho. He's going to take the corner. Floats one in. Looking to find Ronaldo here. Kilman. 
He had a great shot last episode that hit the crossbar from outside the box. Bubakar Traore, great tackle. He's on loan. Ronaldo. And it's in. There's the hat trick. So Cristiano Ronaldo grabs his hat trick. Our first, I think that's our first power shot. I think that might be my first power shot goal that isn't in player career. <laughs> if this does well enough, I might do a player career mode. I'm not sure. We'll see. If anyone's watching this and, well, anyone who likes to comment on videos is watching this, um, feel free to let me know if you would like to see a player career mode. And there we go. 3-0 to Wolves. Good as Great tackle. Oh, great ball by Ronaldo, and Guedes make that look easy. Cristiano Ronaldo having the dream debut here. And Guedes, what a great finish that was. And Valladolid were doing so well, but in the last 20 minutes, they have been completely ripped apart by Wolverhampton Wanderers here. I mean, look at, I mean, passes like that. Jesus Christ. And here comes Podence once again. Sending an early cross in. Finds Guedes. Podence. Straight at the keeper. Bubakar Traore. Finds Ronaldo once again. Oh, wow! Wow! And Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, he's just in a class of his own, isn't he? Wow! I don't even know what to say to that. Look at that. Jesus, completely ripping apart Valadolid's defense. It was almost like a video game. Wow! What a strike. And it that means it's 5-0. Yeah, we're going to bump up the difficulty. Jesus. Cristiano Ronaldo now. Neves. Semedo. Can he keep it in? The cross was too powerful. And it's full time. A complete decapitation of Real Valladolid here. And Cristiano Ronaldo for his four goals. Four goals in five attempts. Picks up the match ball. Wow. Wow. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Complete domination here from Wolverhampton Wanderers. And Cristiano Ronaldo making a huge statement in his debut with four goals here. Absolutely insane. So would that be like our first silverware then? Is that like the International Cup over? Or was that just a Pez thing where you'd win it at the end of the group stage and now we go into a knockout stage? I don't know. Let's have a look at the weekly schedule, shall we? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, what have we got then? Doesn't seem like we've got anything for quite some time. And I don't really feel the need to sign any more players, so... We don't exactly need to do anything, but let's have a look at the calendar. Let's see what we got. If we go to the next month. Yeah, so we got Liverpool at home for our first match, which is... Um, quite ironic considering we just faced them. Uh, first things first, we're going to go right into the settings and we are going to bump up the difficulty level to world class. Quick roll out to Nathan Collins. And Emil Forsberg, I mean, he's been absolutely atrocious and Wolves have been made to pay. Oh my god, and Wolves, very lucky there. Fabrino. Oh my god, Liverpool made that look easy. And it's Diogo Jota. Celebrating again at Molyneux, this time in a Liverpool shirt. God damn it. It's like the difficulty's definitely been completely bumped up. This like... 
No medium, bro, come the fuck on! Jesus, it's like my team's just suddenly been on really bad form against this team. I can't get any of my passes in that I want. And now it's 3-0 to Liverpool. After such a promising pre-season. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo looking to get one back for Wolves! Saved. Ronaldo. Oh, you lucky shits! Just an absolutely horrible start to the season. 4 0. 4 0. Wow. I just haven't managed to do anything this second half. They just become prime pass alone and you can't get it off them. But professional is too easy. This is the issue I have. There's like no medium. Here we go. Triori has an opportunity. <sighs> you see what I mean? Look at this. Wow. An absolute embarrassment at home. And I mean, Wolves fans have the the absolute right to boo that was that was a tragedy that was absolutely tragic all right so we need to make some big changes this match um i'm not putting forsberg back there uh we'll keep ronaldo going yeah we'll keep ronaldo there uh put charlie savage back on the bench uh, Hugo Bruno didn't do particularly bad, so we'll keep him on. And he, I didn't really see anything from Pedence that half, if I'm being honest. So we're going to play Huang. We'll play Huang, and we'll, it depends how he does. If, he, if I don't really see anything from him in the first half, we'll put Neto on. Uh, but yeah, that's our side for today. Um, if Ronaldo doesn't score, we might sub him off for Guedes. We'll have to see. Why is it put us in our away kit when clearly the clip uh, the kits the clip oh my god <laughs> um why is it put us in the away kit when clearly it doesn't clash who knows anyway oh james madison would be a pretty good sign in i feel like he would definitely be better than forsberg to say the least maybe next episode we'll see um anyway here we go lester foxes versus wolves let's go well here we are King Power Stadium, I'm pretty sure this is. Leicester City versus Wolves. And I mean, after the 4-0 loss to Liverpool, anything would be a sign of improvement. Anything better than that. Here we go. Match is underway here. Thomas. Liverpool looking to... I mean, not Liverpool. Leicester, sorry. Leicester looking to get some good possession in right away. But Wolves... Complete dispossession already. Here's Neves. Nunes. Looks to play over the top to Triore here. No one's making a run. No one was making a worthwhile run. Wow! And Huang. Well, he shoved him. What's this here? Play to watch. Cristiano Ronaldo. Four goals in the last three matches. None of them include the Liverpool game. So, I mean, it was pre-season, so it does not matter. Triore. Causing a bit of trouble here. Ronaldo! There it is! Oh, that's a relief. So Cristiano Ronaldo scores for Wolves. To put the 1-0 up against Leicester City. But I mean, you got to give the props to Adama Triore there. He made that. Look at this. Gets it to Ronaldo. Completely wrong foots Johnny Evans. And what a strike into the top corner. Any goalkeeper would have had trouble stopping that. And Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo scores. His first goal. Wolves first goal of the season. Triore 
I mean, he's really proven to be an issue here. And here comes Huang. Huang now causing trouble. Uh, not a good cross. And Iverson. Iverson. Easy catch. Tillemans. Leicester looking for a counter attack. And I mean, look at. Uh, I think that's Ashley Barnes in a lot of space. And Nathan Collins. Great work. Here comes Hugo Bueno. Nunes. Oh, great work from Johnny. Finds Traore. Looking to put it in for Ronaldo. On a silver platter, but Leicester had that covered. Wolves all over Leicester right now. Surely this has to result in something. <laughs> and Nunes had a good opportunity and it was a good save by Iverson that's what we're sticking with Whew, good save Jamutinho takes the cross Ronaldo oh my god it's a scramble can Nathan Collins win that header he does Traore <laughs> and I mean from that angle the odds were always against him but not bad not bad at all I think that would have hit the crossbar though if he did get it a little lower so there's that and there we go pray it Barnes great tackle by Ruben Neves and gets it to Nunes who's going to try and switch the play here to Jean Moutinho great work Ronaldo Oh, it's the crossbar. What a shot. And Leicester got off lightly. Ooh, looks like we got an injury on the Wolves side. Leicester going to try and take advantage. And Max Kilman returns the favor. Eye for an eye. And it looks like Nathan Collins might be injured, which won't, bear, won't fare well for Wolves. Oh, and Jamutinho. Gets it back here. Leicester put a lot into that counter attack. Leicester being a lot more ferocious. The fierce foxes really putting the pressure on Wolves here. Great work. Here comes Hugo Bueno. And here comes Huang. Good work. Puts it over the top for Jean Moutinho. Ronaldo! Ah, oh, somehow he found him. Somehow Jean Moutinho found Cristiano Ronaldo. And Ronaldo gets another goal for Wolves. He is going to be precious to Wolves this season. It looks like Nathan Collins might actually have a proper injury unfortunately and I don't have any centre backs on the bench so I guess we might have to make another signing next episode to get a backup centre back I think I can't really recall any good centre backs that we have other than Nathan Collins and Max Kilman. So we might have to and Nelson Semedo is going to play that makeshift centre back for now until we can sign one of course maybe we can get one on loan Oh, we're going to miss Nathan Collins. He's been, he was doing really good in defence in pre-season. Perhaps not for the Liverpool game, though, but, you know. Traore. Guess it's a Huang who finds himself in a lot of space. He's going to shoot. Ah, and Iverson makes a save. Huang did good to get in that position. Jaumutinho. Ooh, that could have ended anywhere. That could have gone anywhere. Semedo. Oh, and Neves. What? That that looked really strange. It looked like he got shoved off the ball or something. But there you go. The whistle for half time, and it is 2 0 to Wolves. And it's a great. It's a great start. Great start to the match, but can they keep it? 
Here we go, Nelson Sonata. See what they can do now. Tries to play it to Ronaldo, who tried to head it back, put a bit too much power on it though. And Leicester now looking for a counter attack as Huang chases him down across the pitch here. Sumar, Sumer, I don't really fucking know. Here we go. Jamie Vardy has an opportunity, and Nelson Semedo does good in getting the challenge in. Oh, and it came off of Vardy, so somehow we got a goal kick out of that. But I know. The 1 2 between him and Ruben Neves. Tries to play it over the top to Huang. Oh! God. I wanted to see if I could slide to like intercept or something. Oh, very risky football from Wolverhampton Wanderers right now. There's Adama Traore causing a lot of trouble on that right flank. Huang Hee Chan finds himself in a good position, but good defense. Nunez and Iverson. That could have caught him off guard, but he had it covered. Sumer. James Madison. Tillemans. Oh, great move right past Neves here. But he's not fooling Max Kilman. And Huang Hee Chan finds himself in a lot of space. Trying to find Traore. That was a very high cross. Chamutinho! Good save by Iverson. Was oh, in. Oh. Traore. I think it was Traore. I was just focused on getting the ball in. Looking to find Cristiano Ronaldo. But Iverson just about had it covered. Leicester City's next game is against Manchester City. And I mean, if they're playing like this next game they're going to be annihilated by City oh but Pryor great tackle by Johnny Nunez loses the ball though I might have to like zoom out the camera or something Semedo good work gets it over to Huang who's played pretty well this matchup and he's outpacing the right back and why I'm going to take the shot. The finesse shots are so shit in this game. Like, I, I'm going to come out here and say that right now. They're so shit to do in this game. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo now has a chance. Oh, big power shot. Good block. Tillemans. James Madison passes it back with the 1-2. Oh, and Wolves just put too much pressure on there. Tries to play it to Moutinho. Who can't get to it. But I think this is going to end up with a win anyway. We're getting pretty late on in the matchup now. 84th minute. Here's Castagna. Kilman looking at jockey. Whoa, somehow got it round Kilman, but I mean, even if it stayed in, that would have been an easy save for Jose Sarr. Sonado Neves, Aitnuri. Was that offside? No, I don't think so. Whoa, big challenge. Hey, Nori going to send it in. Funny Traore and Iverson just about getting the save. I think the cross might have caught Leicester off guard. Last minute here. Bubakar Traore coming on to replace Ruben Neves. Ooh, very deep cross from Jao Moutinho there and Nunes. God, crossing's difficult in this game. But there you go. Redemption. For the match against Liverpool. 2-0 against Leicester. A relatively comfortable victory. Let's go to the post-match interview and see what Julian Lopetegui has to say about that.
some questions regarding the match? All right. It must be a blow. Collins picked up a knot today. That means he could be out for the next five days. Well, so I, I, he'll miss the Sheffield Wednesday Cup game. I, okay, wait. Like, let's just get him back to full fitness. The headlines after today will, will be all about Ronaldo's stunning performance and his two goals which sealed your victory. What are your thoughts about your star man? I couldn't have asked for more from Ronaldo today. Up against Leicester City, this seemed like a hard game to call. You must be delighted with the win. Were you always confident you'd come out on top? Every single one of the lads was committed to their job. I wasn't exactly Let's confident after the 4-0 loss to Liverpool. But there you have it, folks. I was originally just going to do the Liverpool game, but we did so bad that, uh, you know. But next matchup will be the Carabao Cup against Sheffield Wednesday. So, uh, looks to be an easy game, but looks can be deceiving. So, we'll have to see. But Nathan Collins will be out for that game. Let's actually have a look at our squad hub and see our potential replacements for him. Marquez, Mosquero, which we could be getting rid of soon. Totti, uh, who played, I think he actually played against Liverpool um, the other day. So, yeah, we've got Oliver Tipton as well, who I'm also, I think I need to get rid of. Yeah, he's on the transfer list. Totti, not on the transfer list, so it looks like Totti or Totti Gomez, okay? We'll just call him Gomez. Gomez is going to be our replacement for Nathan Collins for the Sheffield Wednesday game but it's not like I was going to sh um, have Nathan Collins in the game anyway we're going to play a bunch of our young players for that game anyway guys thank you all so much for watching this episode of FIFA 23 career mode if you guys liked it hit that like button as hard as you possibly can comment share and subscribe and I will see you soon for um, episode 3 till next time peace